Yeah, Gardevoir does feel pretty strong. I really want to be able to, um, like, add her to my roster of Pokemon that I use in ranked. Um, especially because, like, it's getting really hard to carry with Gengar now that I'm in Ultra. And also on top of that, like... Um, the only other Pokemon that I feel comfortable using in ranked is Wigglytuff. And Wigglytuff is very t team reliant. Just not always the best thing. But Gardevoir feels very good. Um, I think that uh, it's gonna take some getting used to before, like, I can pop off and rank with her, but... Okay, these two are being very aggressive. How did I not get Snorlax? What? That's unfortunate. Our Snorlax was literally 1 HP. I just needed to get that confusion off. I thought that I got that confusion off too, that's the frustrating part. Oh. oh our Haunter rolled up to the top lane, nice. But Psy Shock feels absolutely ridiculous. Maybe not quite as ridiculous as, um... Well, definitely not as ridiculous as some of the stuff that, uh, Gengar can pull off. Gengar... Gengar does not like, uh, the idea of being balanced. Which honestly has me, like, thinking maybe I should learn, you know, like, other characters. Aside from... Gengar for the most part. Really? Future Sight over Psy Shock? I'm gonna go with Psy Shock just because that's what I'm used to. But I will try Future Side out later this stream. And then, yeah, Moonblast is sort of a given, I think. Moonblast is just so good. And I almost accidentally chose Psychic. Th the thing about Psy Shock that I like is it can really punish trying to trying to run away. And also you can use it as a really good getaway tool. Extended too much. I think my biggest issue uh, when I play Gengar is I actually really struggle until I get Hex. Which is weird because, like, the setup of Sludge Bomb Lick is really good. It's just I can't figure out how to use it well.
Damn. That's the that's the second time that I was about to KO someone with my R attack, and then <laughs> I got bopped just a little bit sooner. I'm really hoping to end up playing in the, uh, the Victory Road Unite Open Sunday. But because of how many uh, people play Jungler in this game, I'm probably gonna have to go with, honestly, probably Gardevoir in that tournament, so I kind of want to, I kind of want to, uh, actually spend a decent amount of time learning Gardevoir. Um, because Gardevoir is very strong, it's just, re it requires a little bit more discipline than, um, uh, than good old Gengar. Oh, nice armor champ got Dreadnought. Okay, they just let us score a ton of points. Yo, Psyshock is so strong. If you can land all three hits, that attack just packs a hell of a punch. Uh, it's, you need a team of five to enter. Um... I was just put to sleep by the Snorlax and still KO'd with Psyshock. Um, yeah, if it was like solo queue based, I don't necessarily know if I would really want to play in it, but... Oh no, that was... I should not probably have popped alt there, that was, that was a bit of a mistake. Like, I'm honestly not expecting to, like, be able to go too far in the tournament just because I, I do know that some Master Rank players are playing in it, including, I believe, uh, I believe the number one player on the in-game leaderboard is playing in it. Okay, Safira. Um, honestly, I've not been able to find anybody uh, about that, so there's like a very real chance that I'll end up making a post asking about it on on the Stratus server. I'm gonna just score 100 real quick. My moon last plus. Their Snorlax snuck past us. <laughs> Good try on the ult. I mean, that honestly was the only thing that that Snorlax could go for at that point, but it's just unfortunate for them that the, uh, the Ninetales also warped back. And that I was able to get out of the ult radius really quick. What 
Damn. Oh my god. That is the, uh, that's the first time I've ever had, in one of my games, a team score 1,000. Yeah, Gardevoir is, Gardevoir is so much fun.